Okay, guys, we're going to run an embargo now then, a 10.30 embargo um, for Mondays. So if I could ask the Mondays, please, to use the raise hands function, and we'll come to you individually. We'll start with Paul Hurst. Simon, we've not been able to hear Pep for the last couple of answers. I don't know if it's a problem at your end. Um, but if you just ask Pep, you said that he's not scored enough goals in the last few games. How would you plan to remedy that? Um, do you think Gabriel might be back to kind of help you in the next week? Can't hear. Muted. Is everyone muted because we're getting feedback here? We, we can't hear Pep, Simon. At all? No. But you could hear him at the start of the press conference? Yes. First couple of questions. Mate. We were working okay to start with and uh, we've lost the, the audio. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Ask your question again, please, Paul. Um, you said that if, um, the number of goals in the last few games is, isn't good enough. How do you remedy that? And do you think Gabriel will be back in the next week to help you on that front as well? Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, a bit better now, yeah. I'm sorry, it's on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you a bit better now. Yeah, I didn't know what to write. So, we've got these of course. The players help the strikers. But uh, we have to play, try to play better and, and, do it, and do it again and again and again. So, final, finally, we are going to find uh, the right moment. Thanks. Jack, okay, go it, on, please. It's me, right. Um, <clears throat> Ferran Torres has played through the middle <clears throat> the last couple of games. He played there a couple of times for Valencia last season. I just wondered whether you'd, you'd seen that and whether you'd discussed with him before he joined as to whether he might play as a striker for you more often. No, we didn't think about to play as a striker. We, we wanted to play as a winger for the quality he has to, to score goals in the one against one, his pace. But we, have, we struggle a lot, the position now is striker. We don't have anyone for a long time with this amount of games. So, and he did really well. He had the three chances to score a goal. And he made incredible movements, runs in behind and fought a lot. So he, he think even better person performance than he played against against Olympique Marseille. And he's an incredible alternative for us. I think he's a guy like a cell really well in the locker room because he's so shy, so calm. And uh, want to learn, and uh, yeah, he helped us a lot. So in the position that we have without the strikers, he's an alternative that we have. Have his performances surprised you in the last week? Because obviously he's not played up front that much. Uh, I th we, when we training, when we can train, because right now the managers know why I'm training. So uh, we are uh, we we work in the office, but we had sometimes we have training. Uh, he's a guy incredible finisher. So he's a guy with a sense of goal. And a quality to score a goal. And today had the two or three clear chances they had at the first minutes, and after two or three, unfortunately could not score. But he's there, and one day will be in luck because playing against five-three-two, the position for a striker is so difficult. There's no space. 
because definitely it's no space and um and that is uh, that is uh, you know he he fought to find them uh, find these spaces and, and and yeah the chances were there one day we will be able to score more goals. Hey, Simon Baskowski. Hi, Pat. Uh, just away from this game, uh, the academy are in a cup final on Monday. You've obviously had a lot of young players involved in your team. Do you feel the academy is in the strongest and healthiest position it's been in in your time here? Well, when we arrived, it was a Jidan Sancho, Brian Diaz, and Phil Foden. Uh, those in. It was, uh, yeah, some, some good players too. But now, yeah, there are a generation that uh, Jason Wilcott, when well, we speak with them, with him and his, his people, always said, come a good generation. So, uh, with of course, Taylor, with Tommy, uh, Tommy Doyle, with Cole, with uh, Felix Nemecha, with uh, Jaden Braj, with Liam Delap, and uh, with uh, and, uh, central defender Lep, uh, left, uh, that he had a good perspective to. Yeah, there are six, seven interesting players. Um, Jason McAtee. Uh, so there are there are a few players that uh, yeah we can count and we trust a lot and with the club we wanna we wanna help them to develop but maybe you know can help us in the future and, and yeah good luck for Monday congratulate them for the qualification for the for the final for Carlos uh, his managers and, and all the stuff and on Monday we'll be there to watch in the final we can beat uh, uh, Chelsea and you got Olympiacos coming up. But does Liverpool have to be in your thinking already now ahead of next weekend? Not to qualify for nine points to nine is just uh, almost done. We will need one more point and one more victory to qualify. So in the first at home, you have to win. You have to be careful. And now it's just Olympiacos. They were able to beat Porto at home. So, uh, sorry, uh, Marseille at home. So we have to to you know to prepare well. And, uh, and after that, Tuesday to Sunday, we have time to prepare to prepare Liverpool. OK, Rob Moll. Just following on from that, Pep, can you talk about the mindset you want from your players from what is a pivotal week before the international break, Champions League, and then, of course, Liverpool at the weekend? Way like uh, that's happened for the Jordan generation and come a tough game like like Sheffield. I know they are struggling points, but not the way they play. I was impressed the way they play against Liverpool, the chances they had to you know to get a, a better result, and uh, and and uh, we know how difficult. So that's why I'm incredible delight for the players who would have lost to score a second and third goal before they the chances that they had the two chances they had. It was not happening and when that's happening in Premier League always you suffer until the end and, but and, in, general, in general we were so good and Pep we're facing a potential national lockdown uh, the Prime Minister is going to announce that in a couple of hours should is football better equipped now to deal with a national lockdown unlike last time and should football carry on if shops are closed businesses are closed across the country it's difficult so uh, I know if uh, the Prime Minister takes the decision is because the situation is getting worse. It happened in Spain, it happened in Germany, it happened in, in France, in everywhere. So the virus is still there and maybe the people say it's stronger. Uh, we won, we, the, I think the world football cannot be an exception what happened to society. So if we have to play, we're going to play, but we, wanna, we don't want to be different, you know, for the rest of the of the society when they have to close the restaurants or close wherever. But this is a position like I'm not involved. I want to be safe. I want to keep well for from, from myself, for my family, for my friends, for all England, uh, all UK. But uh, honestly, I don't know. What we have to do is follow the instruction for the Prime Minister, for the scientists, what is the best, and try to follow. You have the responsibility, each one, to follow what the Prime Minister and scientist says because it's not a joke. Uh, it's serious, and, uh, and he say stay at home. You have to stay at home. If they say don't do this, we don't have to do it because it's not fair. Like half of the population doing what you have to do, the prime minister will say and say, and the rest of the people do whatever they want. 
So you have to be conscious still the reality is tough, it's difficult, and you have to stop. We're going to stop. You have to play because they decide it's good for the society or for I don't know. So just be alert, be careful, take a maximum uh, conscious that the dangers, the situation that still we are living. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you.